So for paper mache, you need an armature, and I'm going to show you how to do that with um, newspapers and bubble mailers. So f starting uh, with newspaper, I would first crumple it up. I find that just works a little bit better to um, then just keep adding. And I'm just layering and layering and layering, making sure I compress as I do so. I do not want kind of air gaps that are going to later compress under the weight of my paper mache. So keep adding layers and compressing. Make sure you have a reference image in front of you. Now I could also use bubble mailers. Now bubble mailers and newspaper are used interchangeably. So you don't have to use one or the other. You could use them both like I'm showing you here, or you could use just one of them. If you have tape, that's great. It's super helpful. Just make sure it works for you. You only use it in point, points that you really need it to. If you don't have tape or you're worried about running out, you can go um, ahead and work without tape. Just kind of, you're gonna have to be a little more careful about where you're gonna get these things attached. I've also seen um, staplers worked as well. So if you didn't have a lot of tape, um, I really like this kind of burrito method where I'm just tucking and rolling these pieces together. I'm still paying attention to what shape I want though. So I'm careful about how I roll this all together. Again, a little bit of tape can go a long way or maybe staplers, right? Now I'm gonna try to add my head here and this first head I had was too big. So I'm gonna take away some of that newspaper and that's a little bit better. And I need a neck. So again, you could use bubble mailers or newspaper. Um, they're interchangeable. And in this case, you can notice my tape is not sticking that well. So I'm just gonna kinda try and make it work maybe with some other tape. But ultimately I am gonna add another layer of newspaper so that tape doesn't really matter. I really think it matters at this point in the video, but um, I discover sooner or later that, look, if I just do this, it's not as big of a deal. Now this is getting closer to my finished shape though, so I wanna make sure I'm not adding too much bulk around the neck because then I lose that definition. So you wanna be careful as you're going and getting closer to your finished piece to really check your shape. Now, of course, think about if you want a curve to it, right? Are you gonna add it and make it, you know, um, wrap around itself? Tape is more important closer to the end just to kind of hold that in place. If you didn't have tape though, you could probably just use strips of paper, newspaper with mache already on it. It kind of depends on how much tension you have um, on your piece. All right, so if there's too much tension, it'll pop up. So do you want legs, right? Then you would want to add those. Those could be out of newspaper or um, cardboard. And then um, I would just keep going and adding as um, I needed until I got my overall shape. 